Egg Pod uh -huh. is back. Uh -huh. Dun da da Bigger class in conscript, not Blastios. What's happening? Thank you for joining us in chat. This evening's gonna be pretty cool, pretty much fun. We've got with us once again Adam Prevoir from the Easy Gaming Group. We also have with us this evening a very special guest from Sad Robot, Philip Thompson. Thank you for joining us. Alrighty, we are in Kamikaze Badger is there. What's up, Badger? So we are going to be well, Adam and Philip are going to be discussing a particular event that took place recently. It was round two of the uh, Sad Robot versus Potch. I don't know what you want to call it, MTG Showdown, whatever whatever it was. And I, I don't know, Adam, if you want to just kick it off there for a second and just take us through. First of all, I mean, this is round two. We had a round one. What, tell us a little bit of the story and then take us to last weekend. What what happened? Good evening, chat, Philip and Crispy. How's everybody doing today? Well, I'm fine. Everybody, I'm good. Are you fine? Doing good. Doing good. good. Thanks. Uh, we got Adam. Aimless, Aimless RSA says, hi, 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 hi. With plenty of eyes. Yeah, so recently um, I got in touch with Philip and I asked them would they be interested in having a little tournament against us Potch Boys. And he just said, yes, let's do this. So we decided on a six versus six. And um, yeah, the le first leg was a couple of weeks ago. Philip, mm -hmm. I can't actually remember exactly when that was. Uh, it was the weekend before Easter weekend. If that's, I can, oh, that's right yeah we were going to have it the third but we moved it to the 10th because of easter weekend that's right that's correct and then um yeah the first leg was actually cool we all loved the fact that we could go out and play in another store especially the the potch guys themselves and then yeah leg two happened let's uh let's talk about how leg two went down uh, it was pretty good for us. I mean, <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding, Adam. Please go ahead. <laughs> I feel the pain. I feel, I feel it. Uh, <laughs> so we got fun. some. It was, we, fun, man, right? it was fun. We got some comments yeah. from chat real quick. Uh, Aimless says so formal, Adam. Uh, and then uh, Slacky ninety six says, isn't he always like that though? Hurlicking <laughs> ZA says sad robot for the win. Hi guys, shout out to Philip. Aimless then goes back with the uh, not when he has a beer in his hand. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> so Phil, you 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 were saying how was how was the play? How was round two against the, the boys from Potch? I loved it. I mean the Potch guys is an amazing group of guys, and uh, I think in round one they showed us that they they can bring it. To, to anybody, they a good bunch of players. Um, even in round two, good players. Uh, I think a few draws or a few games just went a little bit luckier, easier maybe for us. But I think um, Adam and his guys uh, put up a very good showing in this event. And I mean, they had to deal with sad robot. I mean, come on. <laughs> is, is, is this your nice way of saying you 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 like smashed the crap out of them? I would <laughs> never say that. And no, no, Adam's guys are are good. We just <laughs> Vet half jack thank oh, you for no, the follow no 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 i'm kidding no i'm kidding wow let's not even talk at my showing in round one where i think i won one game out of the four games come on i mean um but but still no um the games were amazing uh we love playing against you guys and we should do this more often i mean it was so much fun even going to you guys is like an outing like adam has said let's yeah. go and go play some games in a different store meet different people and and just have fun and all we did that day was have a lot of fun, did we not? And that's exactly what the plan was for, for people to meet new people and play against different players and up their skill level, which I really do think that the Potch guys actually did do. Yeah, yeah I agree with you. Mm. Especially in the round one. I love the fact that the points were so close that it was six points difference mm. to sad robots. But um, yeah, second, second round, we, we, we got a hiding. But we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn from that, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna move forward and see what we're gonna do. I actually see somebody in chat that I wanna say something to, Mister <laughs> Conscripts, Conscript, Mister Robert Wild. We're coming for you, twenty second of May. See that the smack talk starting early this time. Like wait, early. wait, wait. Can I interject you? Sure. <laughs> may I? May I? You um, may. Rob, for you as well, my buddy. 
um, we've got you as well. So uh, we've got the Poch Boys now. So that's four zero to Sad Robot. So hopefully the next one will make it five zero, right? <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, guys. No, I look forward. You know how I look forward to these, to to what we're doing. Um, just just building a brotherhood of guys playing magic and having fun and meeting people and what is it um, making friends that's what it's about right yeah, that's what it's about yeah Conscript, i see another person in says, chat as well mr dylan christie saying that adam must bring it and, and um, yeah, says, dude you're in pretoria i wouldn't want to speak too much oh, i love it if I was you. <laughs> lucky 96 says bring it to bloom adam graces with your presence oh. uh yeah we are busy planning on a bloom thing i just need to get, get some confirmation on bloom but we are very keen to actually we're very keen to play against any store if yeah. you guys want to come over to you wherever you are we we keen um the potch guys aren't what everybody seems to think they are we do have some talent here what we, are you we put our we put our skills in and then we're gonna see what can happen yeah, no, I think um, from my side as well. I, I really enjoyed playing against you guys, Adam. I mean, kudos is due where kudos is due. You guys did make an amazing showing round one. Round two, you guys still played well, um, not taking away from anything. I mean, I, if I recall one of the games, I, I, even me, I came back from a certain defeat just by throwing the right card and just winning the game. I mean, anything can happen in Magic, we know that, right? This is true. I mean, uh, my game one right through round one, two, and three, my game one, I made each of my scoop, which for me is a personal victory. I made Bhavan scoop. I love that fact. And he was playing the near road. <laughs> I came back from one life all the way to making him scoop. So that, that for me was a personal a personal little victory. Would it be nice to have Bavin in, in chat here so you could have had a little... It would actually be nice to have Bavin right. in although, chat. Although, I see Rob says into store in June, question mark? Yes, definitely. Yes. Definitely. definitely. Yeah, Potch, uh, Top Deck and Sad Robot. We're busy yeah. talking about that. Yeah, we, we are talking about that, yeah. Should have detail. Hmm. Well, there you go. Yeah, we see. must do that and it must become a more frequent thing that we are doing. Um, like I said, I really love these challenges. It's amazing. And... and from I think Sad Robot side as well. If any of you guys want to come and challenge us, I mean, we are the undefeated champions. <laughs> so, so challenge is out there. <laughs> Bring it on. I, I see there's somebody uh, come. You should come practice in Durban first. Oh, yeah, Durban sounds oh, great. We're Durban's by the sea. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, My hometown, yeah. baby. Let's go. <laughs> uh, look, guys, I'm just joking and kidding. Uh, um, uh, it's all about playing magic and having fun. Uh, that's what it is. It's camaraderie and enjoying yourself with people that you like and people that's got like-minded uh, 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 things that they enjoy. And do you have fun like that? Okay, so, so at the end of the day, it's as well about building this community. I mean, we, we have a solid community. We have very, very good players. We have very, very good people, not just players. So, um, yeah, I, I would I would love to play against any store. The experience that we had with Sad Robe was amazing. Home and away legs. I'm sure that the, the experience that we'll have with Top Deck 2 is going to be great. So if anybody wants to throw a challenge out there, I'm pretty sure that any of the, the, the stores would be interested in, in jumping in. And this will lead actually into a conversation that we're going to have a little bit later on what EGG are busy planning. So we've got, we've yeah. got Aimless RSA says challenge accepted. Conscript again says, <laughs> <laughs> Strain earlier on asked uh, 25 to 2 to sad robot question mark. What was the final score? What were the final scores, guys? Wow. Um, okay. okay. Let, mm. 5 to 2, it was. Um, I'll have to go check, but it was it was a bit of a smashing round too. I would go more around the let's it call it like fifty to thirty, if that could be fair. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe seventy-five to twenty-five, eh? Ah, that's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> I'm going to say what sad robot now we're gonna fight. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't that bad, but I think if out of the rounds, I've got the scores. Um, first round, Sad <laughs> Robot won four. Um, Pratia took two games out of the six games. Yeah. Round two, it was Sad Robot took four. Then there was a draw. And then you guys took one game. 
Yeah. Around three, it was four to Sad Robot again and two to the Protea guys. And the last round, it was four, one, one again. Yeah. If but I who's counting? That's, that's, the, that's the round that bends out again. Yeah, yeah. But who's counting? I mean, but who's counting? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, but it, it, was, it was just a hell of a lot of fun. Win, lose, draw matter we we had a hell of a great experience and i'm sure everybody involved in it i know bavan kept on talking about the fact that being able to go out to potch a place where most pay players haven't been it's mm -hmm. uh, somewhat of an experience for a lot of people and anybody's welcome to come play have a yeah, few games I, but... yeah adam and i think you did uh, let me kiss your ass a bit i think you do it you're doing a great job in in Poch with the guys in Poch and the magic in general in Poch. So, so yeah, kudos to you as well, my buddy. There's your I shout out. You won't get at that again, all right? <laughs> I thank you. But it's, uh, it's not just me. It's uh, it's about um, what uh, what we're trying to build in Poch, bring the community back um, to what it was, and uh, the the group of players that we have. It's uh, it's a good group of, of of lads and ladies. One of uh, our ladies actually won our pre-release this weekend, oh, which I'm very, that's, very proud of. That's very good. That's very good. Very, very proud of. Solid funding. Solid funding. <laughs> not blessed to us once today if Conscript is just farting in chat. I don't, I, you know, I, I'm not <laughs> sure if that's, if that's what's going on. Aimless <laughs> says there's some salt going around. And Conscript <laughs> says it was a solid fronging. The 4241-4242. I mean, you know. yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. You guys did do good. I mean, the matches was a lot closer than what they seem or what the score would suggest. Um, but, but yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it's, it's like I said again, it was a hell of a lot of fun. By all means, uh, this interstore would be very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. How um, to have like a 36 player tournament in these weird times that we're living in right now, that could be something special. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And right. and don't forget the play ban is being lifted by Wizards on the first of May, so yeah, things are gonna heat up really quickly, I would imagine. Really quickly. Hopefully, and, for, uh, yeah. Sorry, Adam. No, no, go. Sorry. Ho Paul. Hopefully for us, the stores, then we can get in a little bit more feet into the stores and yeah. getting the paper That's magic up and running again, and and getting to that level where we have the twenty fours on an F and M and the thirty sixes on an F and M and things like that, which means great great for the stores and from that perspective more competition and 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 really making this tri-store tournament uh, something that people would really love to play in and and be associated with because you're that's a wizard dream. philip the tri wizard <laughs> tri store championship yes <laughs> yes uh, look i don't kiss my own butt but but we are good. <laughs> you guys are definitely good. You got, I mean, no, so, certain, no, players, no, certain no, players. I must give this to Bavin and Tyler. Um, we, we also have a good few upcoming players. Look, I just fill the team. <laughs> I get mana screwed. I throw games. Uh, I, I just fill the team. So I'm there for moral support and to carry the sad robot banner. All my guys do. But yes. uh, we've got some good up and coming players. If I can maybe give a shout out to Vincent. I think the first event he went also one win, three losses. And then coming over to Poch, he, he went two, one, one, if I'm not mistaken. Also improving a bit. So yeah. good comeback. Yeah. Tell me, sorry guys, if you, if you don't mind me jumping in here, the, the two rounds were sort of spaced over a fairly lengthy period of time. Um, it wasn't like, it I mean, was it was supposed to be weeks, sort of a yeah. one weekend, next weekend, round one, round two. and But instead, because of circumstances, things got split up a little bit more than they should have been. The the decks that got played, we, we, how, how did you guys work that? Was it you had to play the same deck in round two? Were you allowed to build a different deck for round two? What 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 were the decks that guys were playing? What were the decks that won? Well, well, you know, let's talk a little bit about, about the magic of the magic. What what happened there? Adam? Well, um, Sad Robot being the winners of the... Of little challenge philip can go first and explain the, uh, his players thoughts towards their decks so um in round one um tyler won with mono green right that was it yeah i went four zero on in round one and then bavin came second with his absan what did he call it absan board tribal or re tribal removal or something like that he called it like that it was like a weird um fun deck that he just put together to play with um yeah. A lot of fun, a very good deck. Um, we tested the deck a bit and a 
Bevan and Tyler and Legion and those guys tested the deck at home as well. And 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 the deck did pretty well the entire day. Um, yeah. And then I was on my, what you call it, Sultai mid-range. Um, not a good I day for it, me. I call it Sultai bling because I was blinded by all the foils. <laughs> Any shark typhoons in there? Because because you hurt me with some shark typhoons previously. I just I want to know if somebody else was you, if you shared the pain. Yeah, with... I share the pain with all of them. You have to wear dark glasses when you're my opponent because you can't read the cards. There's too much bling. <laughs> That's just how I roll here in the East Rand. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> um, then we had I think Legion on Rogues, right? Legion was on Rogues. Yeah, in round Legion one. was on Rogues. Um, and a very interesting deck that came out of you guys. Um, Ryan, I think the gent's yeah. name is. Yeah. Uh, it was a Jess guy aggro deck with uh, that stupid one one that gets plus one counters when you when you cast a non creature spell. D Dorat. Now what was his name? The, the little... Dorat, I think. Yeah, Sprite Dragon. Yeah, yeah. Sprite there we Dragon go. for card's name. But that absolutely one. destroyed me. Round one, he played only Is it Is it con Is it Tempo? Can we say Is it Tempo? Sure. Yeah, because uh, yeah, um, yeah. he just played the Sprite Dragon and he's got all the counter backup and making the dragon big and just swinging in with the dragon and things like that. That deck also, I think, went three and one, eh? if I'm not mistaken. In round one, one. I think he yeah. went two to two. Was it two two or three and one? Three and one or two two. I can't, two, I can't I recall agree. nicely yeah. in round one. Around two, he went three and one um, with the same deck, but he just splashed white for a more chess guy control to it. Yeah, a very interesting deck. I enjoyed that one. Playing against them to to see how that how that, how that deck pulled off. It's, that was yeah. a very interesting deck. And your our game as well it beat you. Mm. <laughs> 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 Only because I, was, man, I sat on two lands like turn six, and and I even told you, uh, Adam, this is your game. I uh, I can't beat you anymore, and I managed to negate the first ultimatum and the second ultimatum just happened i sat on i think three lands and i told you no no let's go no, to the next right. game it's and then i work in to turn five right you did it again me turn five and then that game you scooped and then the last game i was mana screwed again and you busted me properly again my I, mean, I just <laughs> offered you ultimatums that's that's yeah. what i that's what i want to do i just want to offer ultimatums um, yeah, but from Potch's side, we ran um, Jeskai Cycling from Diego. He didn't do too badly at Sad Robots in the in the away leg. Uh, we had Mono Red, Reinhardt, I think, ended third in that event. Was it not second? Reinhardt or came second. Second, uh, yeah. He, I third, think he went Reynard second, yeah. and then Bevan was third. Oh, I'm also speaking under correction, but I think that was the scores. I think he, I think he did end up second, yeah. And then um, I was in Salt and chris too was on selesnia tokens that deck pops off when it pops off it does major damage like turn four 20 damage mm -hmm. but that he run, also that just gets mana mana screwed so badly oh. with that deck sometimes shame adam and then um we had a very good uh, mono blue combo deck which you guys seem to be very interested in it, it was a very good deck um yeah it's, it's a lot of fun it's i like seeing own brews, home brews. Yeah. I, I I like building decks. I, my Sultai, you won't find in any deck list or most of the decks that I play. I I groom at the stuff myself and I enjoy playing these decks. I enjoy playing with certain cards. Um, yeah. I just like building my own decks and decks like that really stands out to me. And um, what was... Uh, he didn't do bad, right? With his Mono no, Blue. He, it wasn't, no, he, he didn't, didn't do it. He didn't do bad at all. I think he went 2-2 on the day mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And then um, we came over to Parch and we changed up a little bit. Uh, we gave Diego Demir Rogues because that's what that's what he's best at currently. That's um, he continuously does very well in our F and M's along with Reinhardt. Uh, I think that was our only change that we actually did in our decklist, and we introduced a newer player as well yeah. on Mono Green. Yeah, correct. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Chris, you guys change around decks quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, I'll get to that now. I think Chris does have a want to say something there. I just I wanted to ask if the Celestia Tokens deck does that run uh, Maya Maja, what what's her name, the five drop Celestia that landfall creator one one warrior. No, no, it runs the Ozilus. Oh, nice. Okay, so you're just With nice. moving tokens around, yeah. okay, moving counters around. 
Yeah. Cool. Okay. Sorry, Philip. Go ahead. Very, very you guys changed no, it up no, for no, round no two. No problem. Round two, we had Bavin back on rogues because yeah, I, I think personally that Bavin is unbeatable on rogues. He's just one of those decks that he plays and he plays it like like super well. Even here in the store when F and M's goes around, he hardly loses with the deck. And it's just he, you know what? Bavin is a good player and he sees plays before they happen, and, and that's what makes him a good player. Definitely. Sure. And then we had Tyler back on Mono Green. Yeah, yes. Tyler was back on Mono Green. I played my Sultai again, but I made a few changes. I added three Valkyries to the deck. I took out the Vorentlixes, and the deck did a lot better for me the day. Sorry, can, um, I just, can I just step in on that flex there for a second? Three Valkyries. I just I added three Valkyries to the deck because you know, and I just took out a can, fifty dollar you know, foreign legs. You know, whatever. Sorry. Here's here's a couple of Valkyries, guys. Ooh. Have a Valkyrie. Yeah. Here you Who go. Who wants to play uh, foreign legs when you can play Valkyrie, man? Sorry, Suzette Thompson in chat says deck two foil said no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> so so all three of my Valkyries were foil as well. <laughs> <laughs> of course they were. Of course they were. <sighs> oh. Yeah, and they were MVPs, really. The few changes I made to the deck was, was it, it did good for me today. And I added uh, four Agonizing Remorses, also main board. I took out the the one blue counterspell, uh, Mystic. Myst Mystical Dispute. Mystical Dispute for the Agonizing Remorses and things like that. And the deck seemed to do much better. I felt sorry for Chris, too, because he got a ma mana screwed against me. And I turned five to Ugin him. Um, so that was uh, bad for him. And game two as well, he was he mulliganed to five cards and I ugand very quickly again. I just rammed insanely and ugand again. And the game that I played against the mono green player, the new mono green player. Damien, yeah. Yeah, Damien, he was also screwed again, mana screwed against me. And you know, um, Shadow's Verdict and Extinction Event just, just gave it to him in that game and I just came because he's mana screwed and I just won because he's mana screwed. I could play my big creatures and take the game from there. You've got to, you've got to take advantage there. You have I, to lost take the advantage. I lost to the rogues. My deck does have a weakness for the rogues. And so um, I do try to fix that in my sideboard and things like that. But uh, like I said, I play the cards I like to play. So your deck is not going to be good against all decks. Yeah, I know. You're never going to win them all. And then Vince again played an interesting deck um, round two. We went back to uh, blue white control. Blue white control, and it tre treated him pretty well the day. Hey, eh? two one one with the deck. Um, yeah, he, his only loss was to me, but uh, he also got a little bit of game three, and I ultimated him into another ultimatum after that, and there was just nothing he could do. And Ryan it was absolutely. In yeah, there was nothing you could do on that. So, but Ryan also went, uh, he also got a bit mana screwed yeah. in Potch against yeah. me. And he went with his uh, Jeskai control. Yeah, that's there it. I've got, I think, all six players. Oh, and Legion was back on. Uh, did Legion play the Absent? I think Legion played the Absent. I think he did play the Absent, yeah. Yeah, Legion played the Absent that Bavin played the previous uh, weekend. That's it, yeah. And, and I. He, he went 2-2. Two, two. Um, he felt that he was unlucky at some of the games, but... Um... Do you have any Absan uh, Salta Ultimatum matchups? The reason I'm asking is because uh, in the uh, Magic, what do they call it, Strixhaven League weekend thing the weekend before, there were a lot of... I mean, this was more in historic than in standard, but there were a lot of matchups between the Salta Brew and the Absan Brew, and the Absan just couldn't stand up to the salt i think did you guys have any of those matchups in in the standard decks and was the was the outcome kind of the same uh i did not play against legion unfortunately in second or the first actually we were did supposed to play in Bevin? round four did um, you play against Bevin in round one with the absent round one no i didn't so you didn't missed know. the absent yeah i missed the absent completely but on arena yes last night i played against the absent list and uh, I absolutely destroyed it. So it's two two zero. I think it was done in about ten minutes. Okay, but that doesn't count because I mean that wasn't part of the sad robot versus botch thing. But okay, 
you know. I'm just saying, okay. <laughs> <laughs> flex. You got to flex. We got the Valky flex in there. You had to get yourself that uh, flex. You, you have to flex. <laughs> no, no, no. I, no. I can flex like this as well, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so this is, uh, in fact, let's just change. I, I don't know if there's anything else you guys have got on that. I mean, besides the fact that it sounds like you really, really had a good time in terms of your matchups, in terms of your little install, I'm going to say rivalry, but put it in inverted commas because obviously it is totally more about the fun and, and having a good time and, and playing with mates, really. Um, yeah. But I mean, in, in terms of the following, the, I mean, straight after that, this last weekend, we've had pre-release for Strixhaven. Mm. So now there's a whole bunch of new cards in the pot. Um, Philip, you've obviously got Sad Robot going there. Adam, you've got the 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 the, the, the Bloom the, the Poch um, Proteus store. The Poch cards, yeah. Um, how, how, how did Strixhaven look to you guys uh, from a store point of view in pre-release? What did you guys think? Uh, Philip, you want to grab it first? No, you, you, can go, you uh, actually did win yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you go first. You go first. Okay. You can you can take that one. Um, yeah, uh, from from our side, it's I saw a lot of um, Prismari. I'm going to say is it, but it is actually Prism Prismari. I saw a lot of Rose Bulls running around in pre-release. I built one myself. I ended up going 3-1 in the event. Um, the winner of the event went 3-0-1. She built a Silver Call deck, which was pretty decent, actually. Um, a lot of flying happening in that. Um, Nick came all the way from Johannesburg. He came through and he built. I think it was also a Silver Call thing with Double Strike that happened. He was my only loss for the day. Um, James built pests, which he pested everybody with. Golgari <laughs> <laughs> pest is going to be an annoying deck. I can say I can yeah. see that already. I kind of like the pests. I think they're cute. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be very very annoying. Um, I, I love the I didn't, the... Much I didn't see much of Quandrix. Um, and there was, yeah, there was. It was mainly just uh, Silver Quill and the Prismari, and there was one. I think there was one Quandrix deck, but I never got to play against it. Okay. Yeah, but all in all, um, I'm I'm actually so very excited. This deck, this the set seems very good as a as a draft set or a limited set, but I think there's going to be some great inclusions in my personal deck. The old Salt Ultimatum, I've been testing around with a few cards and so far it's been doing pretty well we'll see what happens in paper though but arena is a completely different thing yeah. and you <laughs> Philip, what, what, what did you see at sad robot for um so with by us it was with the bloom uh, everybody just wrapped those decks because i think they wanted the the dragon that elder dragon um what's the name again uh, something with the bloom yeah, 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 something. I, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody wanted the guys. So the Witherbloom got picked first, and then Silver Quill, and then the Quandrix, the Simic, right? Yeah. Yeah, Quandrix is Simic, yeah. Yeah, and then nobody picked Prismari. Nobody did. Hmm. Uh, um, there, was, there was a few of them left, and nobody picked them. But okay, the decks for the day, um, a lot of sultai sultai variations a lot of green black blue a lot of those type of decks um the pests was like not even pesticide could kill the stuff here in this shop i tell you they they were running rampant here um some interesting builds some some good games but that was basically what happened with our previous over the over the saturday and the sunday so um i think the witherbloom was the first ones to go and then the silver quill and then the Quanrix and then Chris Mori and uh, who did I left out now? Lawhold. Yeah. Nobody Boros. plays Lawhold. Boros. Can't believe it, eh? Sorry, hey, I mean nobody Lawhold. Took Boros. Borhold. Yeah. L L L yeah. <laughs> Borhold. <laughs> well, but you know what? The, the, the night before I read this article and I go, um, if you really want to do well, Lawhold, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going through this article and I'm going, this is one pack that nobody is going to take. And 
nobody took them. <laughs> the, sorry, the one lady came in and she took the law hold because there was an elephant on the box and she wanted this box because there was an elephant on the box. <laughs> sure, my yeah, here's your box of law hold. Have okay. fun. <laughs> Look, everybody's got their reasons, you know what I mean? You, yeah, you know. sure. No, no, no. Look, I'm not holding that against them, but um, yeah, but a lot of sultai ish types of builds, it, every deck or most of the decks running around had the green, the black blue decks and variations of that maybe changing the black out for red and things like that but a lot of splashing into a third color okay okay that's, it was a lot that's actually that's interesting there, but... because you say that and i mean i i've sort of taken up a little bit of uh of uh drafting in in arena which is something i didn't do before um and i have found that particularly in this set Oftentimes you come up, not only do you draft into it and splash that third color, but um, you, you often find your opponents have splashed for a third color. There's a, there's a lot of three color decks, particularly in limited, um, which I'm interested to see that what you're saying is what came across in pre-release as well. Thanks, South Soti, for the follow. Appreciate it. Um, Talk about South Soti. He's oh, yeah, our round one yeah. champion. Yeah. So, I mean, that's... Is, do you think that's a thing in this series? Do you think if, if we look more at limited, we're going to be finding a lot more three color decks? You, you know, it's sometimes difficult with the sets and the cards because these are like five of the, I'm going to call them guilds that they've picked to play with. Or, or let's call them schools or majors, mage schools. What's the new whatever, name? Whatever, the they school of yeah, majors. Yeah, whatever. Thing. Um, what they call them. Um, the other Hogwarts. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I like that the other Hogwarts. I'm going to use that. May I use that? <laughs> By all means. <laughs> okay, cool. Just what? Just, uh, just I'll, if I'll you do, that. I'll if you that. do, and J.K. Rowling comes knocking, it wasn't me. Okay. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Welcome in the house. <laughs> um, no, um, it just depends. I mean, I look at the cards and I go. Golgari, man, I wouldn't just play Golgari. I'll put in some blue in that Golgari and make it fun. Yeah. Right? So, so yeah, you, you might get, and, and we are so spoiled for lands these days. So, playing three color decks? Yeah, I, I mean, we've got, what have we got? We've got the triomes, we've got the pathways, we've got the yeah. snarls now. Um, so uh, many it, different ways of, of fixing your mana to get, yeah, to get that splash yeah, in there. Apparently, there's still temples as well around. I just yeah, don't some see temples. them anymore. What's a temple? <laughs> are temples. Yeah, exactly. What is a temple? <laughs> i got pathways. Where I don't need your temples. What are you talking about? <laughs> you guys are forgetting about one very important land as well. Tree. That land the is just tree, yeah. insanely good. It's a very beast. Cool. It's a yeah. beast. I run, I run three of them in my deck just to make sure I don't get mana screwed. It's even better in Commander. Kind of Strain is saying there's a, of, there's a lot of there's a lot of fixing to splash for lessons. What do you guys yeah. think of this lessons situation? All the lessons going out. I yeah. kind of love them. I, I, yeah. Personally, I kind of love them. I mean, getting free cards for casting right? cards. I mean, <laughs> I mean and, and I, I, I like the them. fact that they're they're mostly colorless. There are a lot of colorless yeah. spells, which I think is is quite a nice take on that. I mean, I'd take it, let's, let's, for, let's say, for example, you focus on a proper spell slinger deck where you can copy up on spells. So if you cast a spell, you pay two mana, you copy it. Damn, all of a sudden I'm getting two lessons every time I hit something like that. Man. And Storm is back. So, yeah, so I, I spell slinging is, is definitely a possibility. I mean, Storm is, Storm is a thing. I, I think, I think um, spell slinging decks would do good. Um, with the release of Strict Saban, I, I just see this. But I, I mean, I could, I could be wrong. And I do believe that every store has their own little meta. Can I call it their own little meta? Sure, yeah. So, so, so in our store, you'll pick up a lot of these decks and guys with sideboard versus these decks and things like that because this is our meta. And I'm certain by Adam and Rob and all of the guys playing, they've got their own little meta and kind of decks that they play that sure. they deal with on a on a weekly basis. So I just maybe see that and, and I kind of like that. I kind of like the, 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 the slinging decks and, and just the spell casting decks. It's pretty fun. I, I have yeah. no experience whatsoever of you ever casting any spells against me that didn't allow me to play magic at all. I, just, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. 
I just <laughs> said no. I, I didn't do anything. I just said no. And if it did resolve, it just died. To a shark. <laughs> <laughs> to a shark. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun game, Chris. It was a fun game for me. I don't know for you. Eh? <laughs> we got conscript saying boo, blue is boo. Uh, uh, yeah. Badger um, says like. Badger says you all have wild cars to be spoiled by lands. I see a very unhappy <laughs> face there. Bigger class and says blue fun. Strange says temple over pathway in his opinion. Yendak says fetching what you need even in game one was fun. And not Blastio <laughs> says love the lessons really makes limited games more yeah. interesting. I agree. Oh, it was yeah. a lot of fun with the lessons, man. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Now, I've, I've been finding them in draft. They've been good fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I, look, I don't play a lot of arena. I, I did at one time. I just don't have the time for it, but I have my own reservations. But uh, as I've been speaking to guys, they really love the drafting and even the lessons in the drafting. Mm. So, so it makes for fun times, like you said, Chris. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. So, um, Adam, yes. Speaking sir. of fun times, mm -hmm. did I did I, am I mistaken? Are we? Is there a egg eleven happening? Is the EGG eleven happening? There is an egg eleven happening. If you guys go have a look at the Easy Gaming Group Facebook page, I'll put up a little poll for you to choose which format you guys prefer: standard or historic. Um, registrations for that will open next week, Monday, and the event will start on the 5th of June. There you go. 5th yeah. of June. And then... So uh, I'm, I'm, personally, I'm personally hoping it's going to be historic because I'm having a fun in historic currently. A lot of people so are let's see. historic. Uh, but regardless of what the format's going to be, the cut is going to be draft. I want to shake things up a little bit and okay. have the the cuts of top 16 or top 8 drafting until we get to the winner. That's interesting. That's a nice twist. Yeah. Maybe I should join you one of these days on on one of them. Hey, Adam. Come for round one, I want you. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, no, I'll, I'll just give you the games and just drop. Is that fine? <laughs> a win's a win and I'm going to take I'm, I'm sensing <laughs> some commander politics here. What's going on? You don't mix no. your formats here, Paul. Hey. Yeah, no, I'd rather play Commander with Chris and then you can go play Arena, that's fine. <laughs> um, so, and then there was there was something else that we wanted to mention, I think. Um, uh, do about... you want to do the big one or are we going to do smaller one? Well, I mean, hold on. I just, I just want to remind people about what's happening in a little bit. Show them, show them, show them, show them. Six haven, six haven. Okay, it's gone. Um, but that's going to happen in a little bit. I even, look, Chris, I even Chris, I... brought gloves for those of you who are worried. <laughs> Chris, I will take that uh, full art black and green dragon um, if you open it up. I'll take it off your hands, okay? I'm going to say no. And then, and, then <laughs> I will, and, then, and then I will sponsor three of these hats for the listeners for tonight to give out as prizes. Oh, but is that oh, only if you get the dragon? Only if you Only get if I <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Um, for all the listeners that is present, I will put up three caps and I'll make sure that you get them. Just maybe communicate to Chris and Adam and then I'll make it happen. Right, guys? Chris, Dude, that's you amazing. Do three quick raffles? Let's do a raffle. Let's yeah, do let's a do raffle. it. Let's, let's do a do raffle. raffle. You want to do a raffle? Let's do a raffle quickly. We're going to pop it up in the group. You guys raffle and yeah. Let's give those We have a new away. follower in Canon so Fodder 9. Bro. Thank you. No, it's, a prob it's no problem, my buddy. Um, I'm, uh, I try to be a good person, eh? <laughs> I've even got one of those sad robot caps. Yes. We've got I, a follow I... from Suzette Thompson. Thank you very much. Hello, Thank my wife. Suzette How Thompson. are you? <laughs> Hello, my wife. How are you? <laughs> uh, is, it, is that <laughs> like some Thompson. form of... Surely that's like yeah, nepotism that... or something. I mean, yeah. Can yeah. I just give a shout out to my wife? Uh, you're amazing, my baby. Uh, I really love you a lot. You mean everything to me. And I hope that gave me some points for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to put three minute time on the giveaway for the first cap. And we'll yeah. do them one straight after the other. We'll just go giveaway sure. cap, giveaway cap, giveaway cap. So you guys sure. know what to do. Um, let me just reset that and open. There you go. There you go. You know There's what to do. For... Just chat and just have fun with us. And that's it. I see the chemist, the chemist is enjoying the gloves. Now, I got shouted at. The last time I did a box opening, 
I had started to open the box. I hadn't even got to the packs yet. And somebody yelled up in chat in big capital letters, Why is he not wearing gloves? <laughs> and I was like, I'll go get some. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's funny, that's eh? why. Christy, that's why I think I while um, the raffle's going, let's mention that's happening in the world of EGG. What do you think? Well, I think it's, first of all, I'd just like to say that the, the box opening that we're getting to do this evening is courtesy of our really cool and amazing partners, Unplug Yourself, um, who've just really come to the party in a big way to help us out. And, and start producing some seriously cool content for you guys to consume out there. Um, we're also about to push for a, a new way that you can get involved and help us keep stuff going uh, here at EGG. Uh, we were originally going to go a subscription route here on Twitch, but uh, keep your eyes on what we're going to do. We're probably going to get our own Patreon going, where you guys will yeah. have a lot more access to a lot more cool stuff um, for a lot less in terms of, of, of any kind of cost to you. However, that does mean that that grand prize that we get every three months from Unplug Yourself of 4,000 rands worth of Magic the Gathering goodies will move over to the Patreon side and to be in the draw for that prize, you will have to be a Patreon of, of the Easy Gaming Group. Um, but keep, a, keep it locked on our socials in the next little while, probably this, this week still, we'll be putting out a lot yeah. more information about all of that. But other than that, um, Anything you need to know about gaming news or gaming stuff or so cool things, go check out www.unplugyourself.co.za. Um, and uh, in the meantime, I think Adam would like to tell you guys a little bit more about where we are with the paper series. Yeah, so we've been working our fingers to the bone, trying to get a nationals feel back into, into South Africa. Um, I can confirm that Sad Robots, Philip, is already on board. We have Top Deck on board. We've got TE on board. We have Bloemfontein on board. We've got Potch on board, obviously. We have Nexus on board. Uh, I'm in contact with a few other of the stores. I'm just waiting for some responses from them. But we are definitely, definitely going to do this. Um, it's going to be a qualifier type of scenario at each of the stores and then leading to the, the main final. But all details regarding that will be released within the next few days i'm just confirming a last the last few little things on that one yeah no, it's going to be it's going to be a blast man paper magic across the country it's going to be paper magic across the country super, and uh, everybody meet one massive end um covid covid hopefully covid will allow that but we are definitely going to push for this and i'm very excited to have the likes of philip and rob from top deck and all the other guys that's um that's been involved in this thing so far I, I forgot about the geek home too they also jumped on board on this very excited to have you guys with us and let's bring this game back to the glory days is what it was yeah, i'm looking forward to this man i just wish that we can start already eh? we Soon. uh we have a winner we shall do this we, we have, have a winner. winner yeah we have a winner winner of the Who's first the cap the winner of the first sad robot cap is code monkey seven <laughs> how does he do this it's always winning. <laughs> it's that monkey seven. Uh, Ricardo, Ricardo congratulations, congratulations, man. Oh, well done, Ricardo. Wait, um, where does he stay? He's in Joburg. Um, he's in Joburg. He's in Joburg. Yeah. He's he in can Joburg. just pop by the shop and come pick it up, man. There you go. There you go. I'm just going to start the next one straight away. Uh, oh, Ricardo, you may not it. enter. Yeah. Yeah, Ricardo may not enter. He's <laughs> he does not have two heads for two caps. Okay, cap number <laughs> cap. Well. <laughs> Well, <laughs> cap number two is up for grabs. <laughs> uh, lots of fun, guys. Really enjoying this. Enjoying the chat. Uh, is it two-headed giant? Is that what we're trying to say? Yeah, well, well, Maybe. No. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I miss two-headed giant so much. I was like, um, we had a couple of games on got on arena, and we were our two-headed giant uh, team. I think he's in chat actually. Still, Dylan, are you there? If you are there, say what's up. Dylan, Dylan, if Dylan, he's not, Dylan, then Dylan. he probably disappeared. Dylan, Dylan, <laughs> Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, I'm really hoping that uh, I'm confident that we're going to be able to pull this this nationals idea off. Really hoping that it's going to that it's going to happen. Uh, all very very excited about what's uh, the future going to hold with, with that regard. Just a, just a quick shout out to Ace Sphinx for the follow. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ace Sphinx. It's a cool Thank name. You. It's like it could be Ace Sphinx or it could be Ace Sphinx. Ace Sphinx, maybe. 
It's just a, it's a play on words. It is a play. It's a pun. <laughs> a pun or a play on a words. Pun. Let's let's let let's not go into the puns. I, I love puns. <laughs> no, no, we've got no. <laughs> ah, there's hashtag Gucci flip flops. <laughs> there we go. That's that's the that's the two headed giant team name that we had. Two Gucci flip flops. Very stupid, yeah. but I loved it. Doesn't yeah. matter. It was good. And then uh, as long as you have fun, eh? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then we are currently planning City Battle 2021, which Joburg has taken the last two years. So hopefully somebody else can show up to the party and take Josie down. Uh, Bavan has been claimed by Northwest. Sorry, boys. He is part of the Northwest <laughs> team now. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Did you speak to me before that? Eh? You, you can't just take my players and, and make them your own, my man. <laughs> <laughs> He's born and bred Northwest. This is, this is like, this is like the, oh, where, where the T20 the cricket where you like get to like buy players from other places. Hey? Yeah, yeah. I, um, no, no, no. You can, you can borrow uh, my players. It's fine there. Uh, Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I have a Adam question Charles around the dress already. I was going to say, I what's, have what's sent, that? I have sent photos to Philip. If he has not shared that with you, I am sorry. Photos? What? About my dress wearing. Apparently, I had to wear a dress. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's still a matter of a little girl dancing in a school uniform that we need to discuss, Adam. <laughs> this is a family show, guys. Well. Family show. I'll do, I'll do uh, something on but, TikTok. Yeah, yeah, I'll invite you to TikTok and let's make a video. Come, <laughs> both of us will wear a dress and we'll dance like um, schoolgirls. Perfect, I'm down. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. So, as, long, as long as I, I can do the filming, <laughs> I, could, uh, I don't think anybody offered, wants to see me in a dress. <laughs> as, but, but seeing that he offered to join, he can join us, right, Adam? Of course, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He offered so nicely. And, <laughs> and we have the, uh, we've got uh, yeah the giveaway is ended and let's we have a winner wins. let's see who the winner is this time the winner is not blessed i have no idea who that is <laughs> but congratulations yeah congratulations i'm assuming they're in durban because they said they said we they had mentioned to, like, durban, go to durban. Along that. yeah if the guys can just um, maybe send me a mail on may i adam yeah of course go for it Bold Send means. me a mail on admin at sadrobot.co.za with your address and I'll ship the cap off to you free of charge. Look at the nice service I offer. Oh, it's my it's my favorite judge. It's Mr. Vish. Congratulations, Vish. Well, Congratulations. Okay, we need to do the last one. There were three caps, right? Yep. So here we go, yep. the last yep. one. Let's do the last one. The there last we go. One. Giveaway's open. Vish, you can't enter and neither can you record it, but everybody else can. <laughs> Except um, for Rob. Oh, he's already entered. Damn it. <laughs> uh, so 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 as you know from our group we've got this mess around where i would post event times and stuff and things like that and the guys would ask what time does the event start and i made a TikTok about it right so so here's um ricardo going uh who asked what time does the stream start and he just laughs <laughs> so so they're still giving me uh, in this tight mess about this what time did this event start so. oh dear. i actually saw that right at the top of the chat at the beginning of the show somebody yeah, said yeah, what time does yeah, the stream yeah, start yeah. <laughs> yeah, i love it I, I, look i love the banter i love the fun i love the camaraderie it's just what makes this that we, what we do so amazing ne? not so for sure that is true the, the camaraderie is a very important part of this game i believe skills come second camaraderie comes first well, I, unless you're born with skills, natural skills like myself, then uh, yeah. I was okay. I was gonna say like like me and, 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 and the way I do that is is I make sure that I let people beat me a lot because that way I don't you know I don't feel bad about stomping all over everybody's hopes and dreams. So I love it. I know I how it. good I am. You know, I just I you know I let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Luckily, I'm a scrub, so it's fine. So it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bigger class, and it was you right at the beginning of chat. What time does this stream start? <laughs> yeah, look, that's, that, that's like an ongoing thing here when I post events and times. What time does it start? What time does it start? So it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, it's all it's great. Good times. It's um, good times. Phil, anything else you want to say? Sadra? Any upcoming events for you guys? Uh, where can people go check out your single? Oh, sorry, can I just, before you do that, can, can I just jump yeah. in for one second and just say, for those of you who do watch our commander stuff you definitely want to be watching uh not this well you want to be watching this week anyway but next week we have something special from sad robot 
uh, yes. on the commander stream. So you guys want to come check that out next Wednesday for sure. Don't forget this Wednesday, but we have something very cool from Sad Robot next Wednesday, which we're very excited about. Uh, and we say thank very, you. Very, very excited. Thank you, Phil. And they look gorgeous, by the way. I'm they are, they are gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> they are so gorgeous. Um, but, but yeah, Adam, I, I, I do what I can from my side, from Sad Robot's side. And uh, you just shout if you need anything from me and I can see if I can make it happen. Eh? If other people don't jump on the bandwagon before me. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> but I th- sorry, I jumped in when Adam was just asking about if you've got any events coming up or if you want to just give a punt out for your singles and stuff like that or, or whatever, your online store and your in-store store. Go ahead, man. What, what's happening at Sad Robot? Yeah, guys, um, basically, we're back to our normal schedule when uh, lockdown is lifted and things, or not lockdown, play suspension is lifted and things like that. Friday nights, we do our FNMs at 7. Saturdays, we alternate between pauper, modern, and then Sundays, we run our commanders um, every Sunday. So you just pop in, bring your commander deck, free of charge, just play, just have fun. Um, yeah, for your singles and everything that you need from singles to seal stock, just head over to sadrobot.co.za and uh, you can always send me a WhatsApp and I normally negotiate if you're not happy. So <laughs> <laughs> the guy that knows me, I do negotiate. So so yeah, what, whatever your needs is, guys, just um, if you don't find it, again, send me a message and I will find it for you. Hey? Cool. I'm that guy from Taken. <laughs> I have a particular set of skills, right? If I don't find it, I will find you. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, no, I will no, no, find Thanks you. a lot, guys. Yeah. And I will. No, okay, you can't tell people you're going to kill them. That's not. No, 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 no. <laughs> magic, magic singles. Magic singles. Ah, okay. All right. The entries have closed for the final cap, and the winner of the final cap is. Jason Ward. Jason Ward. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, think actually Jason, Jason Ward will look very cool in that cap, to be honest. Now look, it's a nice cap, man. Look, Just look at this. Uh, I mean, I look, do, I do look sexy, right, with this cap on, right? I, I, I plead <laughs> the Fifth Amendment. I failed to uh, answer that question on the grounds that it may incriminate me. <laughs> uh, congratulations, Jason. Uh, if you decide as well, otherwise, if you want me to ship it, I'll do that for you as well, my man. Nah, just... uh, Jason is Pretoria based. If I'm yeah, he's Pretoria I don't based. Know, I don't know if he moved or anything. He can make a plan. He can, he make, can make a, a plan. plan. Take a drive. Yeah, he can take the drive and come and visit yeah. me. Yeah, sure, sure. But not for the stuff. <laughs> for the cap. For the cap. Oh, there we but go. I love, I love to entertain my clients. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you've done a great job tonight, Phil. I want to say uh, thanks so much for joining us and thanks so much for what you're doing to help us out uh, with EGG. Um, again, guys. Command this next Wednesday. We've got something special from Sad Robot. Obviously, we've got our Commander stream this Wednesday night as well, where we are busting out the Strixhaven Commander deck straight out of the box. Uh, Going to just go nuts and play that stuff like crazy. Again, courtesy of Unplug Yourself, our amazing new partners. Um, but definitely next week, Wednesday, we got something special from Sad Robot, which we're very excited to show you. Um, but uh, I think... <clears> hey, <throat> Nyad says, please pass the cap to the next guy. He's gifting the cap to a friend. Okay, but he can do that because I reset the yeah, whole you thing. Can do I don't that. know Just who collect it, it and you can give it to your buddy or whatever you want you to know? do. You know, sheesh. Yeah. What do you, what do you, am I supposed to like keep the raffle numbers up here for the whole night so that in case you feel like being <laughs> generous? <laughs> uh, Philip, from my side, thanks a lot for joining us. And ones that we have done. Crispy, as always, uh, always a pleasure to do these things with you on a Monday evening. Totally. Do. And yeah, guys, go go over to Sad Robot and support the LGSs, guys. With, yeah. uh, without these places, uh, we don't really have paper magic without these places. So Absolutely, man. Jump on over and support support uh, the stores. And as soon as as soon as the play ban's lifted, get your asses to a store. Doesn't really matter which one. Just get your asses to a store. Start playing some magic. Buy some cards. Do the things because. Hey man, I am tired of seeing waiting for server. Waiting for server. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have that problem. Yeah. Look at, look at me. I'm hypnotizing myself. Uh, no, guys, uh, thank you for having me tonight, guys. Uh, I really enjoyed our little talk, our little chat. And uh, we can do it again anytime. Uh, just chat. And uh, thanks a lot, Chris. Thanks a lot, uh, Adam. Nice to have been here. Thanks, dude. And good yes, that was, those, that was those a of lot you of fun. Thanks, Paul. In chat. Don't go yeah, away. Those of you in chat, don't leave. 
There is a strict save and set booster box open. We I'm are cracking some packs. Cracking some packs. Oh, oh, Best oh. feeling ever. Best feeling ever. Best feeling ever. Okay, but now I gotta do stuff that's gonna look weird on stream. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so hold so on. Be back in two seconds. Just it might <laughs> things things might go weird. Yeah. So hold on. No, okay. you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. It's just managing those gloves to open up those packs, eh? Yeah, I got to <laughs> I got to stick gloves on. <laughs> okay, where's this gone now? See now, this is this is what worries me. <laughs> it's like, where did it go? No, no, cancel. What is? Okay, that one's fine. I gotta find. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, hold on. I think this is what I gotta do. <gasps> ah. Okay, chat. Can everybody can now see that? And then we're gonna do. There. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. Wait, just relax. No gloves yet. See? The gloves, is the gloves coming off tonight? I, I, I'm not sure if the gloves... The gloves, the gloves are... Well, they're going to have to come off at some point, right? <laughs> but uh, I just got to move some screens around quick so that I can get some other screens in the right places where they're supposed to be. Uh, hold on. Everybody just hold on. Two seconds. Make it five. Make it twenty-five. Just be cool. <laughs> we'll we'll get there. I don't know Take where this thing is. It's not crack it much. just like that, crispy. Ah, you know what? It. Let's crack just do this. <coughs> you guys can hear me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Put on oh, the gloves. No. Put on the gloves. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> hey, Philip and Philip and I are gonna sit in with you. We want to see what's happening. Yeah, okay, yeah. So yeah I'll tell you what. I'll try and do this a different way now. Oh, he broke it. Oh, wow. <laughs> he broke it. I must tell you, this feels and sounds very weird. <laughs> Again, just thanks to Unplug Yourself for this relationship of us. Um, you guys are really helping us move to a level that we can help this community <laughs> a lot better by doing these types of things. Oh, you're I'm kidding. just laughing. I'm just laughing at the screenshot that they sent with some of these messages in the chat. It's like amazing. I just love. Okay. Anyway. Da -da -da -da. I will use the gloved hand as much as possible. Where's, where's Adam? I'm not seeing him. I think he's turned his picture off. I'm not sure why. I'm here. Oh, he's there you are. Turned his hey, lines I'm off. here. I'm here. Just turned it off for once. Was it for the smoke? Please ask that? your wife to help you with those gloves. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're not even gonna do. Okay, hold on. We gotta. We gotta do a thing here. Does it feel real? Uh, <laughs> oh man, that's we're, so gonna, we're just gonna ban somebody real quick for trying to spam us with stuff. Yeah, I'll kick that guy. I did Get that. Out I of did that. Mind. Oh looky, there are some packs. Wait, where are they? There they are. Look there. Ta -da -da -da. One pile of packs, two pile of packs, and three piles of packs. And you know what we do with this? <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, I love that. I love that. Wearing one glove looks great, and it's a broken glove too. Look at that. I feel like I'm a, evil, I'm like a super villain. <laughs> I will crack your backs. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> right. Which side yeah. should we start, people? Left, middle, right. Go left, Chrissy. Go left. Go left. Alrighty. Then we'll do that. And then we'll do that. Just, okay. um, just get the full art dragon that I need, and then we all sort it. And okay? then we're good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So the way it's going to work, I'm kind of going to fly through them a bit because we don't want to spend all night doing this. But oh. Oh, so we got an artsy artsy card. We got an artsy, and then we got some stuff. Oh, illuminated Is that the history. Signed one? Nice, nice. Yeah, nice. yeah. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Silver Quill Apprentice. Oh, we got a Sedgemo Witch. And Dark Ritual. 
Very, very cool. I like the Dark Witcher. And we got a Foil Secret Rendezvous. Foil Secret Rendezvous. rendezvous. Oh, yeah. mm. and, oh, that's gorgeous, yeah. Hey, we I got to relearn. Cards. That's our that's our set from the list, I think. The card from the list. Mm -hmm. Relearn. Okay. So I tell you what we'll do is let's do let's do that. That that because it's a oh, it's a foil, I suppose, and that's the list, yeah. So let's do that. Uh, and that's pack one. Alrighty. Go right to the back. Those are the ones we're interested in. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, here's a dragon. Which one is it? This is the, I think this is the Quandrix. Quandrix dragon. Mm -hmm. Then we got that. Oh, that artwork is gorgeous. Yeah. Dueling coach, Karak Wrangler. Okay, we got the Snarl. Vine Glimmer Snarl. So that's pretty funky. Uh, a Duress. Oh, and a Foil Duress. Oh, that's pretty good. And we got Urza's Blueprints. And a whole bunch of commons. And an uncommon. <laughs> Who cares about those, eh? And we got the Magic <laughs> Minigame Winchester Draft, if anyone gives a damn. Oh, we got the Kozilek Art. Oof. Very, very cool. That's pretty good. Uh... Tenured ink caster. Closing statement. Rushed rebirth. Putrefy. Oh, Putrefy's art is very good, hey? Yeah, very, very cool. And oh, we got a foil with a bloom campus. Oh, that's good. That's all right. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty. Crispy has to play Secret Rendezvous in his Wednesday Commander deck now. Don't, don't, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got some um, art card. Very pretty. Oh, we got a foil swampy. Introduction to philosophy, law hall camper, twin squad, blah, blah. Illustr, blah, blah, team pennant. Okay, we got Uvilda, Dean of Perfection. So this is the, the red blue Dean, or blue red Dean. So Uvilda on one side. Nasri, Dean of Expression on the other. So that's pretty cool. We got Opt. Very nice art on the Opt. Loving that. We got a Foil Heated Debate. I do like that card. And a Fractal Token. Woo! We do like Fractal Token. No worries about the cap, bro. No worries. Okay, we got a bear. Bear. Uh, da, 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 da. Zephyr Boots, Umbral Duke, Mascot Interception. We've got Mavinda, Student's Advocate. This is a uh, three drop legendary creature, Bird Advisor 2 3. Um, it's kind of interesting. Brings things back from the graveyard and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. Uh, we have an Eliminate from the library, which is very cool. And we have a Foil Decisive Denial. Ch -ch 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 which is very cool, and a pest token. Because pests are a thing, you know? Boom, okay, we got that dude. The dude who can gain flying if you attack with him. Can't remember what his name is. Dun, dun, dun. Practical research, explosive welcome, mental guidance, test of talents, this is a very cool card. For those of you who don't know, test of talents, two drop, one in a blue. Instant, counter target, instant or sorcery spell. Search its controller's graveyard, hand and library for any number of cards with the same name as that spell and exile them. That player shuffles, then draws a card for each card exiled from their hand this way. So that was pretty cool. Flunk, Silver Quill Silencer. Silver Quill Silencer, nice looking card. That's a rare. Silver Quill Silencer enters the battlefield, choose a non land card name. Whenever an opponent casts a spell with the chosen name, they lose three life and you draw a card. Interesting. We also have Tempted by, tempted by the Orc. For each opponent, gain control of up to one target creature or planeswalker. That player controls with mana value three or less. So it's like a small mass manipulation. And we have a lightning bolt. Very nice. And a biomathematician foil. And then our library card. The list is a 
Hey, it's a Sunscape Battle Mage. Do, 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 do. Very cool. Next pack. Ah, kill it. I'm gonna have so much cleaning up to do. That's okay. Okay, we got Law Hold Command artwork. Very nice. Uh, Mercurial Transformation, Stonebound Mentor, Stone Rise Spirit, Pillar Drop Warden, Humiliate, which I like a lot. This is a nice card. Shadewing Laureate, Thunderous Orator, which is like a small Odric, if you guys remember Odric. Uh, Killian Ink Duelist, this is a nice card. Two Drop, Two Two, Lifelink Menace. Spells you cast to target a creature, cost two less to cast. Very nice little card. Strict Proctor is our rare. It's pretty cool. Infuriate. And a Pillar Drop Rescuer as a foil. So that's pretty cool. I haven't really struck any kind of big gold here yet. But let's see, let's see. Oh, got some nice arty works. Forest, Environmental Law Hold Campus, Enthusiastic Studies, Swing Scroll, Make Your Mark, Relic Sloth, like a Ruther, Mercurial Artist. To do uh, is an uncommon. And then Fervent Mastery. So this is part of the Mastery Cycle. I think there's one of these in each of the colors now, which is pretty cool. And then we got ourselves a counter spell. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's one of the prettier of those particular cards that are out there, I think. Um, I really like that. And then we got a foil wormhole serpent and a spirit token. Let me just quickly get this pile a bit neater because nobody likes, especially magic players, likes piles that are not neat. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's Dino. Look. Hello. Swamp. Elemental Summoning. Pilgrim of Ages. Fuming Effigy. Pillar Drop Rescue. Blood Age General. Ingenious Inspiration. Overgrown Arch. Poet's Quill is the rare. Artifact. When Poet's Quill enters the battlefield, learn. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and has a lifelink. So that's pretty cool. And then we also have an Elemental Expressionist Magecraft. Wow, this is a 4-drop four 4-4 four, four Orc Wizard. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, choose target creature you control. Until end of turn, it gains if this creature would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. And when you exile this creature, create a 4-4 four, four blue and red elemental creature token. Interesting. And then we also got some... Oh, wow. We've got ourselves a Whirlwind Denial. Listen to you. <coughs> and a foil lightning bolt. Very nice. I like that. At Sad Robot, that box could have been sorted and uploaded already. Wow. I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. Now I feel bad. Foil bolt needed, huh? Look at that. Okay, Island Mercurial Transformation, Ages Guardian, Study Break, Cogwork, Archivist, Berrien Books, Demogoth, Woe Eater, Eye Witch, Academic Dispute, and a Torrent Sculptor with a Flamethrower Sonata on the back. There you go. And another Whirlwind Denial. And a Kelpie Guide in Foil. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what that is. Alright, so that is that side done uh, let's just tidy that up real quick okay some list cards some foily foils boom and boom next bow bow Forest, Mercurial Transformation, Star Pupil, Exhilarating, blah, 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 Guiding Voice. Apparently this is me, according to Jason Ward. Um, it may have been once upon a time when I was a much thinner person. But, you know. <laughs> With a Bloom Apprentice, Blood war Bookworm, On a Troll, Fortifying Draft, Another Uvilda, Dean of Perfection. Oh no! 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 It's that Faithless Looting! Ah! <laughs> I so dislike that card. Art direction fail. Anyway, 
we've got a um, foil team pennant. And our list card is a Nightshade Peddler, which is pretty cool. Oh, that was that faithless looting. No, no, no. Oh, there. Okay, so there's we got the Witherbloom Dragon artwork. Swamp, Expanded Anatomy, Spiteful Squad, Arrogant Poet, Swivical Compass, Swimmable Pledge Maid, Arwen Shield Maze, Devouring Tower, Backlab. We got the Hall of Oracles. This is the land. And we got Defiant Strike. Right there. And we got an Inkling token. We got a foil introduction to Annihilation. It's a very nice foil. The real full art one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, we got Silver Quill Command artwork. A swamp, environmental sciences, promising dusk mage, professor's warning, letter of acceptance, first day of class, the secret rendezvous, rip apart, nice card, grinning ignis. Another Silver Quill Silencer, which we got one of in the last pack. And a Lightning Helix. Very cool. And a Stonebound Mentor Foil. Which is kind of nice. Uh, Avatar um, tokeny thing. Non valuable thing. Okay. What else have we got here? Okay, some more really nice artwork stuff. Island. We got Pest Summoning. Combat Professor. Lawhold Pledge Mate, Lawhold Campus, Enthusiastic Study, Twin Scroll Shaman, Deadly Brew. There's Dina, we knew she'd pitch up eventually. Manifestation Sage comes in and Strategic Planning. So Manifestation Sage, Strategic Planning. And we got a Foil Illuminate History. And a Pest. A Pest. You're a Pest. It's a Pest. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, we got this one again. We got a foil forest. Uh, we have teachings of the archaics. That's pretty cool. Eager first year, spiteful squad, arrogant poet, civil core campus, civil core pledge mate, Ireland shield maids, expressive iteration, augmenter pugilist, which on the back has an echoing equation. So augmenter pugilist. Echoing equation. That's pretty funky. Uh, and then we've got a village rights. And a foil law hold excavation. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, Kozilek, we've seen him before. He is our friend. Land, containment breach. Mark your, make your mark, relic slot, illustrious season, excavator wall, tomb shredder, tender, blah, blah, demigoth, war eater. Okay, then we got Shale, Dean of Radiance, on the back, Ambrose, Dean of Shadow. Uh, these are pretty cool cards, actually. Yeah, I know, Shale is, Shale is pretty cool. So that's Shale. And Ambrose. That's pretty funky. We got a harmonize and a foil defender campus, and we have a list card. Great teachers decree. Okay, these packs are getting harder and harder to open. Also, my hand is sweating inside this glove. So we just saw the card that that comes from. Got a mountain spirit summoning combat professor, lawhold pledge mate, lawhold campus, maelstrom muse, snow day prismari apprentice, fervent mastery, and the frost boil snarl. That's pretty cool. And a beautiful new cultivate, and a foil rise of exus, extus, rise of extus, uh, and an elemental token. You take Okay, we got another bear. At the bear. At the bear. 
And then we got planes. We got introduction for the thrilling discovery. Expelled. Nice removal in white. Stonebound mentor. Stone rise spirit. Pillar drop warden. Creative outburst. We got another snarl. We got the retriever phoenix. And we got a D spark. As well as a foil pigment storm. And our list card is Song of Dryads. Wow. Three drop enchant permanent. Enchanted permanent is a colorless forest. A colorless forest land. Interesting. I always thought, you know, forests were green. What do I know? Another one of those guys. Island, inkling summoning, enthusiastic study, twin scroll shaman, make your mark. I think I'm a Bob academic dispute. Wormhole Serpent, Symmetry Sage, another Dean, we got another Dean here, Kiane, Dean of Substance on one side, and Ibrahim, Dean of Theory on the other, and then we've got ourselves in a gate, very pretty, and a Foil Detention Vortex. I'm going to make that the foil sound from now on. So whenever there's a foil, I'm going to have to go. It's going to be the thing. And then we got Law Hold Command. We got a Mountain, Fractal Summoning, Pilgrim of Ages, Fuming Effigy, Spell, Satchel, Storm, Kiln Artist, Team Penance, Zephyr Boots, Umbral Duke, Body of Research. Which is pretty huge. This was my, uh, my pre-release foil with a date stamp. Um, so there you go. Body of research. Got to revitalize. <laughs> Quandrix campus foil. Whistling at night is bad. Demon's gonna get your butt. What the hell? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, apparently I'm in deep, deep trouble with some demons. Uh, who don't like whistling at night. What, what do they have against whistling at night? I don't understand. That's okay though. Maybe I'm not meant to understand. Okay, this is it. Last pile. I forgot about the art cards. Make notes. Add to collection. Says Skinnylicious. Lost Girl says listen to the Asian. Yes, ma'am. I won't whistle. Here's a demon -y thing for you. We have Island, Reduced to Memory, Elemental Masterpiece, Resculpt, Teach by Example, Pop Quiz, Pigment Storm, Humiliate. We have the Hall of Oracles. Oh, Strixhaven Stadium. Tezzeret's Gambit. We have a Fuming Effigy Foil. And a Token. Get the Rubber Chicken. Now just pull the Demonic Tutor. Or maybe they like butts. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to assume to understand what demons like. Swamp inkling, uh, heated debate, ogya battle seer, sudden breakthrough, elemental masterpiece, resculpt, teach by example, shadewing laureate. We have a dream strix. We have a revitalize, and we have a. Foil closing statement. And a pest. I could say that about some people. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, here we go. Some more artsy art cards. Very nice. Forest, Introduction to Annihilation, Spectacle Mage, Waterfall Aerialist, Prismari Pledge Mage, Prismari Campus, Campus Guide, Humiliate. Shadewing Laureate. Oh, we have a Dragon's Guard Elite. 1-1, one, 2-2 one, two, two creature. Sorry, 2-drop, uh, 2-2 two, two, two creature. Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant sorcery spell, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on Dragon's Guard Elite. Pay 4 and 2 forest. Double the number of plus 1, plus 1 counters on Dragon's Guard Elite. That's kind of cutesy. I like that. We have Adventurous Impulse. And a Foil Shock. Very, very sweet. Very sweet. Maybe they like butts, you forgot to whistle. <laughs> Took like two packs. 
What was I supposed to whistle on? Foils. <laughs> okay, art card. Then we got Mountain, Elemental Summoning, Pop Quiz, Pigment Storm, Spectacle Mage, Waterfall, Thingamabob, Thunderous Orator, Killian. Okay, we got another Snarl, Shad the Shine Shadow Snarl. We have Silver Quilt Command, and there you go, people. You all wanted it. I see it was mentioned there before. Demonic Tutor. Boom, baby. Boom. And a Foil Spirit Summoning. <whistles> Wait, I just have a Demonic... Oh, no! Ah! I'm just kidding. The card we had from the list was Warrior's Lesson. <laughs> what did you think a demon got me? Nobody even cared. They were just like, why is he taking so long? <laughs> okay. Art card. We got a Foil Plains. Leave it, you animal. I'll get there. Relax. I can't do all these things. Why do people yell at me for taking too long? Hey? I mean, come on. Mercurial Transformation. Prismari Plays May. Prismari Campus. Campus Guide. Defend the Campus. Not the Campus. Mage Hunters Onslaught. Rise of Extus. Thunderous Orator. We have a follower from YT Crispy, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, that's my son. <laughs> Torrent Sculptor, and on the back, Flamethrower Sonata. We've had one of those already, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've got a Duress. We've got a foily one earlier. Suitsayer Adept Foil. Oh, and then the card from the list is the Voracious Dragon. Five drop, three and two red for a four, four. Creature Dragon Flying Devour One. As this comes into play, you may sacrifice any number of creatures this creature comes into play with that many plus one plus one counters on it. When Voracious Dragon comes into play, it deals damage to target creature or player equal to twice the number of goblins it devoured. Oh, there you go. There you go. Look what happened to the glove in this wise advice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Artsy arts. Very pretty. That's the land. Okay, forest thingy, defend the campus, mage, onslaught, reflective, ruther, ingenious inspiration, overgrown arch, blot out the sky, make many, many inklings, is what this card should be called. Pestilent cauldron, with restorative burst on the back, a lightning bolt, and a foil, <whistles> dramatic finale so this pack was all about making tokens more funky artwork both glad it was wasn't on purpose it wasn't on purpose i don't know just say thingy for comments planes thingy thingamajig whatchamacallit jobby what's it uh, Morality Spear with a Bloom Apprentice, Bookworm, on a Troll. There you go, we have a dragon. Shadrick's Silver Quill. Da, 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 da. We have a Strategic Planning. What is that red on your hand? That's just my hand. Ah, it's the broken glove strain, so that I can scare people. We have a stone by this familiar foil. I keep whistling. I'm taunting the demons. Ah, yes. Ah, say ah. Say ah, strain. Ah. Then we got cool art. That's the dragon bound thingy majig. Uh, mountain thingy thingy thing thing thing. What the fortifying draft, devouring tendrils, culmination of studies. That is some serious artwork. Serious artwork. No, it wasn't the Witherbloom Dragon, I'm afraid. Claim the Firstborn. And a foil cram session. With a fractal. Second last pack. You thought I had a sickness or something? I do. I'm addicted to pack cracking. Island. Ooh, academic probation. 
This is a lesson. Choose one. Choose a non-land card name. Opponents can't cast spells with the chosen name until your next turn. Choose target non-land permanent until your next turn. It can't attack or block and its activated abilities can't be activated. It's a lesson sorcery. It's pretty cool. Uh, island. Uh, thingy. Thing. Thing. Whatchamacallit. Doof Daffy. What's it? Killian Ink Duelist. Strict Proctor. Which we've seen before. And Cross and Grip. And a foil crocodile. Uh, Mouldering Garok foil thing. And then from the list we have Brain Freeze. Target player puts the top three cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Storm. So that's pretty funky. Last pack. Last pack. No one should be that happy to see a basic island. <laughs> You're funny. I like you. I will kill you last. <laughs> okay, we got an elephant art thing. Fuck. I mean, look at that. It's some crazy elemental elephant. We have a swamp. We have reduced to memory. We have hunt for specimens, a blah thing, thingamajig, whatchamacallit, card, brackish trudge, deadly brew, baleful mastery. So this is the black of the mastery set. Uh, pay four, three and a black. You may pay one and a black rather than pay the spell's mana cost. If the one and a black cost was paid, an opponent draws a card. Exile, creature, or planeswalker. We have a cultivate. We have a foily campus guide. And we have a fractal. Your eyes saw an ostrich. You In what? This? You saw an ostrich in this? Where's the ostrich? Please, for the love of God. Tell me where the ostrich is. That's the elephant. Now sleeve the tutor. <laughs> Hold that thought. I will be right back. <laughs> you guys are seeing ostriches? Seriously, I don't know about this ostrich situation. S Y No Blay. Sleeved. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright everybody, I think that's pretty much it, man. Um Looking through some, you know what, I am going to sleeve as well, just because it's a dragon, you know. Just because it's a dragon. We like dragons. There we go. That's all sleeved up. I'm a happy guy. Once again, a big thank you to our partners that unplug yourself for this awesome opportunity. Now sleeve everything. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. I promise. I will get there. Uh, I got commander decks to sleeve up. You know what I'm saying? Um, but just a quick shout out. Don't forget, I will be streaming tomorrow night as Crispy One, uh, doing some jank nonsense with some Strixhaven cards. Eight o'clock tomorrow evening. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Crispy One. And then on Wednesday night, we're right back here on EGG for Command This Strixhaven. We have the. C21 Commander decks, courtesy of our friends at Unplug Yourself. Um, and we are playing them straight out of the box to see how they do. Uh, I'm not actually playing in this one. I'm sitting this one out because I'm going to be coming back in round two of Strixhaven with the, the Sliverquill deck, which we're upgrading. Should be good fun. Um, but until then, uh, yeah, those of you who don't know about it, Slucky96, if you don't know, right here, Wednesday night, 8 p.m., we play Commander on Spell Table. I don't know if you I don't know why you guys think I was excited about a land. I mean, it wasn't the land, it was what was behind the land that I was excited about. But you know, it's okay. You know, lands are cool. Because without them, you can't cast spells. Right? I mean that's how this game works. Why is the fractal 
on the list pile. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm a big fan of islands. Nothing better than saying island go, right? Yeah, but you're one of those blue players. Blue mage, I am. <laughs> blue mage, I am. Blue mage, I am. It's all good. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this evening. I want to say thanks all for joining us. Thanks for having fun. The ostrich is now staring at me. Hold on. I'm before we go. Okay. Ostrich. Where's the ostrich? Adam, do you see an ostrich? That is not an ostrich. That is an elemental elephant. See? Elemental elephant. Actually, it could be an ostrich. I see an ostrich. No, man. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like a running ostrich with its wings flaming out, maybe. You're all nuts. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, chat. We really do appreciate it. We hope that you're enjoying the content that we're putting out. Have a look. If you've got mates who didn't get a chance to see this, uh, we will be pumping it out on the EGG YouTube channel. You can catch it there as well. Uh, there will be some other things going out there as well. We'll be putting out some of the commander streams, all that kind of stuff. Some really nice content for you guys to consume at your leisure. And as I mentioned earlier, keep an eye on all our socials for updates on how you can help and how you can get involved and make the channel uh, even better and, and just, you know, your space for your stuffs. Um, we really, we really, that's what we're all about. So from my side, Adam, I don't know if you want to have a last word, say goodnight to everybody. Yeah, I just want to thank um, Unplug Yourself once again for this amazing opportunity, what they've, what they've given us. And for our guest earlier this evening, Philip from Sad Robot. Thanks a lot. And obviously, chat. Um, very engaging this evening, guys. I really enjoyed the really, really enjoyed the stream. Fantastic. Also, from my side, Philip, thank you so much. Uh, I'll try and be faster with the next box that we have. Um, although, I don't really want to. Because I like looking at the cards. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, until next time uh, big shout out to all of you in chat thank you so much for joining us um, don't forget tomorrow night crispy one Wednesday night command this right here on the easy gaming group channel on twitch uh, where we'll be playing with the c21 strixhaven commander deck straight out of the box it's gonna be lots of fun uh, and until then stay safe stay healthy and uh, bye